How's it going, people? It's my first video made in 2018. And I'm doing it on a whim like I always do. Uh, well, I found this today at the Forbes Town Post Office. I've got a P.O. box there, and I come up every week and I check it. And yeah, Signs of the Times, Hope in Troubled Times. I have not read this because why would I put myself through it a second time? I'll do it on camera. All right. Okay, this looks like it's largely quotes from the Bible, a little commentary. Okay, let's do it. Hope in Troubled Times. Psalm 121, 1 through 4. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. I'm up in the hills right now. Mount Hope. <laughs> From whence comes my help? Yeah, that's King, King David wringing his hands and going, I'm looking up at the hills, God, and where's my help? Because God used to live on a mountain, apparently. <sighs> my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow you Wait, he will not allow your foot to be moved. <sighs> I guess that means the one's taking your land from you, maybe. Since they were always conquering each other's lands and everything. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold. He who keeps um, Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. No catnaps either. This was, of course, from Psalms, so it was music, you know, lyrics to music. I think even in some old um, Bibles, you'll English Bibles, you'll even see like these weird little music notations they try to carry over. Well, anyway. Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. He knows the thoughts he's thinking. Because he thought them. That's poetic. Thoughts of peace. And not of evil. He knows. He thought those thoughts. <sighs> to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me, capitalized M, and go and pray to me. And I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me. When you search for me with all your heart. Well, that's handy. Yeah, put that one in your pocket. You might need it someday. This is all very useful stuff. Uh, Lamentations, 321 through 23. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. 
because his compassion fail not. <clears throat> they are new every morning. Great is your, capitalize you, uh, your faithfulness. God's got faith too. That's probably where we got it from. You know, that's how, you know, you learn it from your father figures. Mm. All right, pretty useful stuff here. Let's press on. Ooh, we're back to Psalms. <sighs> Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord, his God. That was Jacob, I guess. Nice guy. I remember reading his story. He was such a sweetie. Jacob from Genesis. The, the prick and patriarch. <laughs> hmm. Who made heaven and earth? You know. Okay, fine. Poetic speech. Never mind. Made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Who keeps truth forever. Who executes justice. For the oppressed. Yeah, you see that all the time. It happens all the time. Thank you, God, for all your help. But these are, it's a collection of magic spells. These are uh, invocations, I guess. Yeah, yeah helping out the oppressed. Who gives food to the hungry... The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. Happens all the time. Except when it doesn't. Which is pretty much all the time. Except once in a while. Oh, that's so nice. Refreshing. Okay. Oh, some more psalms. We love psalms. 71, 14 through 16. I wonder if they'll get to the one about, you know, O daughter of Babylon. Happy will he be who dashes your babies against rocks. That was a psalm, too. All right. Uh, sorry, not which one? But I will hope continually... And will praise you yet more and more. <laughs> My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and your salvation all the day. Yeah, never stops. For I do, uh, for I do not know the limits. He doesn't know the limits. He's in the outer limits. <laughs> I will go in the strength of the Lord God, and I will make mention of your righteousness and yours only. Just in case. No Frenching, though, you know, no tongues. Well, all right, whatever. Do what you want. Uh, Psalm 42, 5, and that's it uh, for that one. Uh, Why are you cast down, O my soul? 
And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. What do they mean by that exactly? If he's immaterial and you can't see him, what's his countenance? I thought he just looked a lot like Zeus, <laughs> but no relation at all. Apparently, one or both are fictional, actually. <sighs> but they look a lot alike, anyway. That's my fireplace. Got a roaring fire over there. <sighs> Countenance. Someone explain that one to me, please. Psalm 33, 8, 18 through 22. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him. He's like breathing down your neck if you're scared of him. <clears throat> uh, sounds like the boogeyman, doesn't it? On those who hope in his mercy. Yeah, we hope he'll be merciful. <sighs> Since he's pulling all the strings. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully he won't be a dick to us again. Speaking Old Testament wise here. Uh Uh, hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death. Because it would suck if your soul died after your body died, because then what would you be left with? Guess you'd be over with. <sighs> and it's interesting. Uh, and to keep them alive wait and to keep them alive in famine probably during times of famine maybe because it would suck if you're like going I'm going to make you stay you're going to live and live and can't die but in famine that would suck I'm just trying to help okay Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Oh shit, you're fucked. <laughs> for our heart shall rejoice in Him because we have trusted in His holy name. Yet your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, uh, just as we hope in you. Sounds like wishful thinking and magical thinking. And it's, I guess, the same thing, sort of. That shit will get you nowhere, but it might make you feel good for a little while. <coughs> but life still happens when you're busy making other plans. I heard that somewhere. Hope in the Lord. Back to Psalm 31.24. Oh, shit, man. We're just jumping all over the place here. Uh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All you who hope in the Lord. And that's all. Basically, it was a reiteration they thought they should add there. Jumping all around here. Back to Jeremiah. 17. 7 and 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree 
planted by the waters. That's not so good if there's like a really bad raging flood season and it washes you out like it does to some trees. But this is obviously the um, you know idyllic description, so gentle, you know. Yeah, an oasis. Yeah, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river. Hopefully not too close. And will not fear when heat comes. Because it's not nice to scare a tree. But its leaf will be green. And will not be anxious in the year of drought. Not, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Okay, oh, we made it to the New Testament. Romans 15, 13. Now, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing. that you may be around in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the Spirit. <clears throat> that was nice. And that was that. Now we're going to jump backwards a few, verse, a few chapters of Romans. Romans 12 10 through 13. Be kindly affectionate to the one to one another with brotherly love in honor giving uh, preference to one another <coughs> not lagging in diligence fervent in spirit serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continually, uh, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints. Given to hospitality. Yeah, so next time he's by, you know, have something. In, have a place set for him just in case. <sighs> Hope in God's word. Psalm 119, 147 through 149. I rise before the dawning of the morning and cry for help, I hope, in your word. My eyes are awake through the night watches that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. Loving kindness. Okay, they just keep repeating this over and over again. Hope in troubled times, and I keep falling for it and reading it again. You say it like five times, six times. Kind of like a song. Repetitious. Troubled times... Come to us all. No shit. Whether it is financial crisis, a health crisis, or a personal or family crisis. 
we all face times when the day is bleak and the forecast for tomorrow doesn't seem any brighter than that bleakness. What we need is hope. Hope that someone somewhere cares about your situation. Hope that tomorrow will be better. Hope that there is a permanent solution. What the hell if you're hoping, you know, sky's the limit. There is no limit. <laughs> permanent solution to all the troubles of this life. Oh, God. Well, I, every one of my family is Christian. <laughs> so, I'm talking about this life, this world all the time, you know. Uh, if I ever slip and start saying that, I'm only using their metaphors. <sighs> yeah, this one, this one, because that's all there is. Pretty darn sure. Because I'm not worried about all the other claims either. On these pages, you will find words of encouragement from the Bible. Maybe I was supposed to read that part first. Ah, okay. <laughs> God's word to you. But you need guidance because it's kind of a muddle. It's so awesome. Oh, yeah, he's talking to you. Uh, you will see that someone does care about your life and your happiness. And the S in someone is capitalized, so I wonder who they're talking about. God cares. <laughs> when the troubles of today seem overwhelming, take a moment to read these promises of hope. You'll find that your heart is lighter when you read about God's plan to give you a future and a hope. This reminds me of, I have an aunt who uh, had to go drive in a blizzard and they decided that they were going to open the Bible, you know, for uh, guidance. Of course, this is just my stash box. It's paraphrased. <coughs> it's J-Dub Bible. Um, anyway, they opened the Bible randomly to go, the Lord will tell us, and they put their finger right down. My aunt told me the story that she did this, and why brag about it? And it landed on, her finger was right on, she looks down and it's like, and, and Judas hung himself also. So, yeah, handy. Okay, let's see, how far on am I? Yeah, I was supposed to read that second first because there's a whole bunch more, uh, uh, Bible, 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 Bible. I'll read some more. Fuck it. Wait. Yeah. There's more. I just, this section was supposed to have been first. Okay. <sighs> Romans 15.4 For whatever things were written before, before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of, of the scriptures might have hope. <sighs> yeah. Or the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita or Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Follow your bliss. <sighs> if you need that. 
Psalm 130, 5, 6. We're just all over the place here. Back and forth. I mean, pretty much the same books they're using, but... I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. And in his word, I do hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. Must be one hell of a song there. That would have been a great song. Yes, more than those who watch for the morning. Yes, they did that twice. It was a damn song. Someone was probably blowing the flute and hitting the, you know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that would have been kind of cool to hear and understand. Okay. Uh, Psalm 119, 114. And fifth, one fifteen. You are hiding. Wait, you are my hiding place and my shield. Turtle power. Pop your head inside that shell there. Permanent solution, and that's a faith carapace. <laughs> Turtle power. I hope in your word, depart, uh, depart from me, you evildoers, or I will keep the commandments of my God. Okay. Um, and then they repeat the same title they had. I'm not going to read it again. We're back to Romans 5, 5 through 8. Now hope does not disappoint. Because the love has been the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, also known as the Comforter and the Holy Ghost, who was given to us. Yep. God split a third par portion of himself off there. <coughs> the ghost. Who was given to us? For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Thanks. Didn't even ask him, and it was like he just, that was so generous. I mean, what the hell, he was going to die anyway, but I mean, it's nice, you know, he made it for a reason. That benefits a lot of people that need a an emotional crutch and uh, a coping me mechanism with guilt, of guilt. Yeah. Yeah, Christ died for the ungodly. Thanks. For scarcely for the righteous man will one die. It's ain't necessary. He'll do it himself. Yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. Well, eh, how about die trying to save that person's life along with your own? And it just didn't work out. I understand that, but I mean, yeah, I'll go in there and die. Eh, probably not. Uh, who knows? You know, you might have like lupus or something and go, fuck it, I'll, I'll jump on that damn grenade. Uh, Oh, Acts 
I have hope in God, which they sometimes do accept that there will be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. But then they get routed to different destinations. Proverbs uh, 23.18 For surely there is a hereafter, and our hope will not be cut off. And that's that's the quote. Surely there is. It's got to be. Otherwise, we're wasting our fucking time. And life is already too damn short. But hey, you know, if you've got a, an eternal afterlife, then this ain't much time at all, you know. This is just, you know, detention. This is just a brief preamble. Uh, a preface to the real eternal existence. That follows this mortal existence, if you buy that bullshit. Proverbs 23.18, for surely, wait, that's the same one, yeah. Uh, for surely there is a hereafter, surely. Proverbs, uh, uh, Psalm 147.11. The Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him. What love? Really, what? In those who hope in his mercy. Because if you're afraid of him, you better hope he's going to be merciful. Titus 2, 11, 14. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying, uh, that, wait, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should be, should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearance of of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify himself his own special people special people zealous for good works but yeah you can get rid of all those lawless deeds and horrible boom wired and snow like in a magic eraser you know you're good with God after that. Lamentations 3, 25 and 26. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. Keep waiting. To the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. And that's this highly useful thing. I should send this to the Scientology people. What do you think? I got a couple of these. I'm sending this to the Scientologists. What do you think? Yeah, I will. That's Discover Online. Because, let's face it, I mean, those Scientologists are going to hell if I don't help them. So, I'll be mailing this to the Scientologists. See, I am trying to help out. Let me know if you learned something. Or if you have any suggestions. I'm going to try to do more of these videos in 2018. I, I've kind of been busy, but 
It's winter. Got nothing better to do. So, more to come. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.